effect here. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to improve your accuracy on Black Ops 3. Uh, I don't have the best accuracy in the world, but I feel like my aim is pretty good and I for sure have a few tips that can help you improve yours. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. First way to improve your accuracy is your sensitivity. A lot of people don't think that sensitivity is a is very important, but it's a very big part in aiming because it's too fast and you can't hit those long range shots and too close and you won't be able or not too close, too uh too low and you won't be able to hit any close range shots. So I play hold on, I play on a four or five and I feel like that's a great sensitivity. Uh, but it's, it's just go into a uh, private match, play against the boss, and just hit fire. And if you can hit almost all your shots, then you should be good. Um, another way I like to improve my accuracy is I play against 200 health bots. Uh, I kill a thousand of them a day, and that way it just helps. It just helps me practice. Um, the third way is focusing on centering. Now what centering is, a lot of people don't do it, is before you even run around a corner, you're already putting your crosshairs on where you want to be shooting. Same thing with, with you see somebody, you're already putting your crosshairs on where you want to shoot them. And uh, So by the time you're shooting, all you got to do is aim in, and you should be able to get a kill. Uh, one more thing is uh, focusing on your aim assist. Aim assist, a lot of people don't take into uh, take into account, but aim assist is huge. If you're looking around and see, like I don't, I don't even have to move. Aim assist will almost do it for me. See, like if he, all right, he died. Never mind. If this boss moves and I'm looking at him, it will pull with him a little bit. But when you're aimed in. It's not gonna pull, it's almost not gonna pull at all. So, hip firing and then using your aim assist is a huge thing. And a lot of people do it, especially if you're up close. You don't even, you almost don't even need to aim in. Just jump and hip fire. Like this. And he's dead. I feel like I didn't explain centering enough. Because what centering is, is you're putting your crosshairs on him. So when you're gonna aim in, he's already there. See, if I were to try to aim in and then drag it, it's a lot harder. But I'm just already looking at him versus already aiming in and then looking at him. Okay, that was a good example. You're like, oh, never mind, I'm dead. I gotta find somebody. So that's right here. If I'm aiming in already and I try to drag it, the first shot, I miss a lot of my first shots, but if I'm just already shooting and hip firing at him, it makes it a lot easier. Last thing I want to talk about, I just, okay. Last thing I want to talk about is snapshotting. What snapshotting is, is you're shooting before you even start uh, to aim in. So you're here, you're running. You're running. Boom, hit those first few bullets. And you got him dead. Versus here. Gotta aim in and then start shooting. He's already got one, two bullets on you. One more way, last way to, aim, to help your aim is you just gotta play. Like, I know this is a cliche uh, thing to say, but you won't, you will be surprised as to how much, if you play a lot, say, I don't know, even just two hours a day, you're playing two hours a day, your aim will get a lot better in like a week or two. Just learning uh, different strategies and just things like that. Different, uh, different ways to focus on your target. Actually, you know, I have one more thing. This is a, it's a lot of people, 
I know a lot of pro players use it, but a lot of people don't use this, and it's called snaking. Basically what it is, is you know somebody's coming, so you're in a hard point. You know somebody's coming, instead of just, instead of just say the hard points in this, in this uh, blue house right here. Say, the, say you know they're going to come from out here, instead of just pre it, jumping, and shooting at them, you're going to prone right in the crack of the door, and this way they can barely see you. Your aim is going to be a lot better because you're on the ground, you can't move it as much, and they can't see you as much. It's a really small target versus jumping out, your whole body is exposed, or proning, and getting the easy kill. I think that's going to be it for today. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new, like, comment, and I will see you guys in the next video.